want to get political about this, but, but for Joe Biden to turn around and say, Russia, China, point the finger that your leadership should have been here as well, surely they can turn around and say, well, you haven't delivered on your side of the bargain. Admittedly, it was a different administration in the US as well, so a different kind of appetite for COP26. We don't need to go into the Trump years as well now. But, but you haven't come up with your side of the bargain. We'll, we'll just carry on our own path. Well, how is COP26 working for us? Or actually, should they have been here? Yeah. Well, uh, China is here uh, via video messages. But the optics of not having Xi Jinping, that, that is very that is of, of course true. Although Mr. Xi is here, climate envoy for China, good friend, and, and trying to push China on the climate uh, agenda quite a bit over the recent years. I don't think it helps a lot if different countries are accusing each other. And I think they need to work together to come to agreements because they all look into each other. And once again, Business is now saying to them, with the open letter we sent to them uh, two days ago, 90 companies saying, listen, we are committed to reduce our emissions, to be net zero in 2050, to half our emissions by 2030, to be fully transparent, to embrace carbon pricing. Please, that is what we do, regardless what you do. Now, can that be a push to you, collective governments, to make a next step? Come on. And, and that, that has to happen now. We are hearing a lot from corporates this time around that they are making these pledges, these commitments. A lot of them are out to 2030, yeah. but there's a lot of skepticism around what's actually happening at companies, and there's skepticism that these are just sort of headline commitments. How do you see investors or expect investors to um, actually believe what the companies are saying, and how do you wade through what's real and what's not? Well, I think uh, you can be skeptical about the commitments of companies, but I think they actually deliver. The 90 companies with the CEO Climate Leaders Alliance now committed themselves to one gigaton of reduction of emissions. Uh, that is the same uh, emissions as a country like Japan has. So it's, it's quite substantial uh, what we as companies are, are committing. And we want to be fully transparent so you can check it, you can audit it, you can see where we are. So I think companies are increasingly on that pathway. And you raise a very good point on the investors also. Investors also look to companies. Are you taking the, the best steps? This was totally different uh, when we were in Paris or before, where investors were still a little bit skeptical themselves. Now they say, if you don't take steps, maybe your company is not future-proof. And why should we invest in a not future-proof company?